offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. Regina Cheri Rejoice and be happy, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant that we may obtain through his Virgin Mother Mary the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and it will be forever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Streaming live from the Sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle, the priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offer this Mass for all your intentions, especially the intentions of Pope Francis, the good health of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, the intentions of our Superior General, Father Valdir Jose de Castro, SSP, all doctors, nurses, health workers, medical practitioners, and all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. All intentions offered through Sambuhay TV Mass and those who are enrolled in St. Paul Mass Association. We pray also the special intentions of George Vargas, Javier and Ponce families, Alcantara and Arsenio family, Ida Pablo, Advincula family, Sam and Sid Bautista, Oliver Dison and family, Jocelyn Enot, Cynthia Flores, and Delaine Acosta, Francis Den Esteban, Menchi Casanova, Leonila Pasion, Jasmine Casal, and Macy Mill, Nona Galicia and family, Earl Dacles and Shell Catedriala, Sarmiento family, Juliet Donacao, Danilo Niebres, Romeo Tagines, the Thanksgiving JV and Christine Borja and family, Ivy Sernan Montejo, Morasa, Morasa and family. For the thanks, birthday thanksgiving of Father Romeo Hitosis SSP, Felicia Fajardo Flores, Philip Casanova, Janice Mercurio, Cello Santos, Tess Raines, Joseph Rivera, Belen Puyat, Reyes Castro, Cleo Salman. For the wedding anniversary of Malin and Victor Yenko. We pray for the good health of Pedro Peña, 
Doctora Teresa Montinola, Ponso Leti Lim and Saling Ombau, Arsenio Go, Daniel Adrian Acosta, Sid Amiel Bautista, Doctora Faye Bautista, Dison and Alingalan family, Tess, Bobby, Romy and Val, Jimmy Inot and family, Jace De Los Santos, Lim family, Mil Passion and Catalan families, Cindy Ejercito and family, Bing Kamaklan, Oni Isidoro, Rines and Chamora family, Apple, Casey, Rika, Bing, Gia and Emmy, Rico Dacles and Paul Catedrilla, Catedrilla, Betilda Gamir, Felix, Fraulin Angelo, Francine and Neil Vista Monge. For the healing and recovery of Herbert Garong, Mika Rivera, Concepcion Quijano, Evelyn and Tony So, Anne Delane and Kathleen Acosta, Anne Margaret Revadulia, Gilberto Advincula, Antonio and Emily Vizcara, Glenn Amoroso, Tina Rose, Marie Kanda, Rosenda Inot, Joseph Ejercito Estrada, Chris Cardino and family, Mika Manio, Yvette Garcia, Romeo and Eleuteria Dacles, Michael Rabahante, Maria Carolina Gamir, Joshua Noel Campos, Karen Capal, Gina Serrano, Loreli Quintanar, Jacob Alviar, Romulo Letrero, Glenn Amoroso, Roberto Carbes. We pray also for the souls of the following. Gertrudez Peña, Esteban and Virginia Borgilla, Antonio Guzman, C. Lingte, Father Winfredo Losaria, Neneng Cruz, Nancy Lopez Montinola, Henry Ong, Soraya Romero, Florentino Caridad, Flore, Floserfina, Karsten Oli Dison, Benjamin G. Cordero, Maria Lucia Marababol, Ambrosio Nena, Billy and Joey, Teresita Quinio, Timotea, Timoteo Casanova, Nancy Lopez Montinola, Emeterio Anung, Henry Ong, Emerenciana Kamaklang, Roberto Mendoza, Sandra Garcia, Eddie Cabeltes, Lorenzo B. Turla Jr., Teresita Tanglauturla, Altair, Nestor and Apolonia, Rines, Cesar Cruz, Jonas Salonga, Carmelita Magpam, Magpantay de la Peña, Virginia Zara, Romir, Romiro Santos, Alfonso B. Sormiento, Senaida Hilario Marcelino, Dina Pizarro, Hener San Juan, Amelia Campos, Melissa Villanueva, Soraya Romero, Maria Corazon M. Molo, Cheryl Yoshiwa, Yoshisawa, Michelle Policarpio, and for the souls in purgatory, especially those who have died because of COVID-19. Entrance antiphone. The Lord led his people in hope while the sea engulfed their foes. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, dear friends in Christ, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves 
to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty and merciful God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the in Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Father. Amen. Um, let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priest, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the, res the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John, and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. 
Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus rebuilt himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He rebuilt himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not recognize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to it? And they answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciples whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad and jump into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. And when they climbed on the shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over, dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner, the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kapag uh, dumadating sa buhay ng tao ang mga di pangkaraniwang pangyayari, yung mga hindi inaasahang kaganapan, at yung hindi talaga pangkaraniwan. Madalas na ang nagiging reaction ay mahirap 
paniwalaan. Ang nangyari sa mga alagad, sa mga apostol at sa iba pang mga alagad ng ating Panginoon, ang mga nangyari sa kanilang buhay at sa kanilang pinagdaanan ay hindi pangkaraniwan. Kaya hindi natin masisisi ang mga apostol at ang mga alagad ng Panginoon kung sakali iba-iba ang kanilang reaksyon sa mga naganap. Unang-una, pumasok ang ating Panginoon sa Jerusalem. Palm Sunday. It was a, a, a glorious and triumphal entry. Ang kanilang pag-asa, ang katang kanilang mga inaasahan ay napakataas sa wakas. Ang kanilang maestro, ang kanilang Panginoon ay iluluklok bilang Mesiya. Limang araw pagkatapos, ang kanilang ipinagbubunyi ay namatay. Namatay sa paraang hindi nila inaasahan. Pagkat ang Mesiyas na kanilang kinikilalay namatay bilang kriminal. Hindi pangkaraniwan. At pagkatapos ng, sa ikatlong araw pagkatapos ay mamatay, nabalita sa kanila na siya ay muling nabuhay. Hindi na naman pangkaraniwang bagay. Ito po'y lampas sa karanasan ng tao. At hindi rin sakop ng kakayahang unawain. Para sa kanila, too good to be true ang mga nangyari at ang mga naganap kay Jesus at pati na sa kanilang buhay. Kaya hindi naging madali para sa kanila ang kaagad-agad ay maniwala. At sa puntong yon maintindihan natin ang mga apostol at ang mga alagad ng ating Panginoon kung bakit gano'n na lang ang kanilang naging mga reaksyon. At ito naman bagay na ito ay naunawaan ng ating Panginoon. Sapagkat ibinaba din ng ating Panginoon ang kanyang expectation, alam niyang hindi pangkaraniwan ng mga pangyayari, at hindi rin naman inaasahan ng Panginoon na agad nilang maintindihan, agad nilang mauunawaan. At muli nilang ibabalik ang sampalataya nila kay Kristo. Kaya naman ang Panginoon ay napakatyaga. Paulit-ulit na nagparamdam, nagpakita sa kanyang mga alaga upang sila'y maniwala na totoo ang mga nagaganap at kanilang nasasaksihan. At yung mga dating ginagawa ng ating mahal na Panginoon ay muli niyang ginawa upang ibalik ang kanilang isip at puso. At nang sa ganon, muli nilang makilala si Jesus, matunghaya ng kanyang ginagawa at ibalik ang kanilang tiwala at pananalig sa kanya. Ang mga di pangkaraniwang ginagawa ni Jesus tulad ng pag-utos sa kanila na ihulog muli ang kanilang lambat sa gilid ng kanilang bangka na malapit lang sa pampang. Ito po ay isang extraordinaryong kaganapan. Sapagkat kung wala kang mahuling isda sa malalim na lugar ng dagat, eh ano naman ang aasahan mong makahuli ng isda sa mababaw na tubig? Iyon ay di pangkaraniwan. Kaya nabuksan din ang kanilang isipan. Aba, iba ito. Ibang klase ito. At nang muling si Jesus ay nag-anyayang sila'y kumain, magpira-piraso ng tinapay, at ibahagi ang pagkain. Muling nabuksan ang kanilang isipan at ang kanilang kalooban at tuluyang naniwalang ito na talaga si Jesus. Tayo po mga minamahal ay makakarelate sa karanasan ng mga apostol at mga alagad ng ating Panginoon. Sapagkat tayo din naman 
ay hindi ka agad-agad naniniwala at hindi ka agad tayo nananalig at sumasampalataya sa Panginoon sa mga di ordinaryong pagkakataon at kaganapan. Lalo't kung tayo dumadaan sa mabibigat na sitwasyon at kalagayan. Lalo't kung tayo nahihirapan at lalo kung hindi natin makita at mabanaaga ng magandang pangyayari sa ating buhay tulad ng ating pinagdadaanan sa kasalukoya. At maintindihan tayo ng ating Panginoon sapagkat hindi lahat ng bagay ay sakop ng ating isipan. Tayo po ay mga limitado lang sa ating kakayanan at kung minsan kinakailangan pa natin ng kaukulang panahon para tayo makaunawa at makatanggap sa mga pangyayari. Kaya naman, ang pinakamahalagang mensahe sa atin ng muling pagkabuhay ng ating mahal na Panginoon ay sa mga di pangkaraniwan, sa mga ekstraordinaryong kaganapan sa ating buhay, lalo at higit nating ipahayag ang ating pananalig at sampalataya sa Panginoon. Sapagkat wala naman po tayo talagang patutunguhan, wala naman tayong ibang makakapitan at wala tayong ibang malalapitan sa panahon ng kagipitan at kahirapan kung hindi sa Panginoon lamang. Pagkat Limitado tayo at may hangganan ang ating kakayanan. Kaya sinasabi sa atin ngayong panahon ng muling pagkabuhay ni Kristo, meron pa tayong magagawa at meron pang mabisang paraan na ating makakayang gawin. Muli nating ibalik ang ating pananalig, ang ating sampalataya at ang tiwala natin sa Panginoon. Katulad ng ginawa ng mga apostol at ibang mga alagad, ibinalik nila kay Yesus ang kanilang pananalig, ang kanilang tiwala, ang kanilang pag-asa. At hindi sila nabigo, mga minamahal. Hindi sila nabigo sa kanilang inaasahan. Kaya mga minamahal, mga kasambuhay, sa panahong ito, Sa Diyos lamang at Diyos lamang ang ating maaasahan. At sa muling pagkabuhay ng ating mahal na Panginoon, ito ang pinakamaganda nating magagawa. Wala na pang iba pa. Amen. Jesus, the risen Lord, reveals himself to the disciples while they are fishing in the Sea of Galilee. Let us pray that we may recognize the Lord by his gentle voice in the breaking of the bread, in the pro proclamation of the word, and in our service to one another. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Risen Lord, you are the stone rejected by the builders, which has become the cornerstone. Give the leaders of the church the courage to speak boldly like the apostles and never be ashamed to proclaim your good news, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. You give the disciples the Easter gift of peace. Inspire the leaders of our nation to silence the roar of arms and put an end to, to conflicts in our cities, municipalities, and barangays, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. You enable the disciples to have a great catch after fishing for not for the whole night. Renew in your church the missionary impulse to go into the deep to catch men and women for God's kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The beloved disciple recognizes you and says to Peter, 
it is the Lord. May we recognize you in the daily events of our life, even if we do not see you with our physical sight, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. You are the resurrection and the life. Open the door of paradise to all who have departed from this life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, help us to live in the gladness and grace of Easter every day. Let us have hearts of thankfulness for your sacrifice. Let us have the eyes that look upon your grace and rejoice in our salvation. Through Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Praise. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the merciful Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, we pray, perfect within us the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing to the things of heaven through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Bishop Administrator, and Jose Advincula, our Bishop Elect, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the command of Jesus, and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Communion Antiphon, a chosen people proclaim the mighty words of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. We now pray the Oratio Imperata. Together we pray. Merciful and, and compassionate, compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other seat us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We, we fly to your protection, O Holy Lord. Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Colonsod. Pray for us. Blessed James Alberione. Pray for us. Blessed Timothy Jacardo. Pray for us. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty, the merciful and loving God, bless and protect you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace love and service of the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. God bless you all. We now invite you to pray our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus Master Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to the Sacred Heart Jesus, Divine Master, I thank and bless your most lovable heart for the great gift of the Holy Eucharist. Your love makes you dwell in the Holy Tabernacle. Renew your passion in the Mass and give yourself as food for our souls in Holy Communion. May I know you, hidden God. May I draw salutary waters from the font of your heart. Grant me the grace to visit you every day in this sacrament, to understand and actively participate in Holy Mass, to receive Holy Communion often with faith and love. Sweetheart of my Jesus, make me love you more and more. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us.